welcome back to another episode of Hawksy Fishing. I'm out here this morning at Paddo. Uh, first day in a while that we've had a low wind forecast, so heading out, getting amongst the pylons and the pontoons, flicking around some lures for brim. Hopefully this wind does stay down, it's already a bit more than I would have liked, but plan is get in there, flick for some fish, I'll keep an eye on the sounder, but I was talking to Rick Massey during the week and apparently there weren't any schooled fish here on the weekend. So, looks like it'll be structure fishing, which is great because that's really what I enjoy anyway. Alright, I'm going to go get to it. I've only got a quick session for uni today. <laughs> edges and flats could hold fish especially at the minute while I've got this bit of low light so I'm going to give them a bit of a work over. Got on here the little Z-Man Grub and Watermelon Red, um, just one of my favourite all-rounders really. Could have been a fish holding it when I went to hop. Um, I've really got no feel of what's going on here in this wind. It could have been just a large chunk of weed, but there's none on my plastic. Hopefully, I saw a school on the side scan, which is why I came into this one. Just really struggling to hold position and keep sort of touch with this grub. So far this morning, haven't seen a heap on the sounder, haven't seen anything up high on the pontoons either. I'm just going to quickly pedal around to a new part of the system. It's going to be real quick run and gun style stuff. Probably just going to pitch either the cranker crab or the stick minnow in, let it sink down, hit the bottom, hop it maybe once or give it a wiggle for the cranker crab and then crank it in and fire it into a new spot just really quickly covering ground looking for the active fish rather than working out anywhere where there's some less active fish I just don't have time to sit on anything unless there's a big school there anyway I'm gonna quickly pedal around and hopefully find some fish in the new area There we go. Took time. We've got a hook up. Brim, I think. Just saw a small school on the sounder. Out in the middle of nowhere. Got the drag pretty light on this guy. Nothing too crazy light. Mm-hmm. 
are. Real hefty <laughs> for his length. Looks real chunky. Managed to pick one up out of a school here. There wasn't many fish in it, but one of them decided to eat that grub there. Good healthy fish there, which is really what you want in winter. Anyway, I'm going to pop the grub out of this guy and pop him back. One last cast where that guy came from, and then I'll have to leave if I want to fish on the way out, which I do. As I pedal my way back out here, I picked up that one just back there out of a school that I found. It wasn't a big school, probably 10, maybe 15 fish in it, but picked them up on the side scan as I was going through, flicked a cast out, and managed to get one of them to eat it a few casts later, actually. but. Um, it really shows the importance, particularly this time of year, of the side scan and structure scan. Uh, the last probably three, four brim trips I've been on, most of the fish I've caught can be pretty well attributed to having that on the kayak and knowing what to look for. Look for. Um, all my fish have been, except for two, I found on the sounder before I caught them. The fish here for the last few trips have been seen on the sounder as well. Uh, and if you check out the winter deep bite video here, it's all finding fish on structure scan. Anyway, I'm just heading out. There's a couple of spots that I like to fish after a session here. Just up that quick little session before uni. Picked the one up there out of a school. Spent most of the morning trying to pick up fish off the edges, off pontoons, that sort of thing. Um, ended up chewing up a lot of time fishing to where it turned out there wasn't many fish um, but I couldn't see for the first hour or two of the morning how many fish were on those pontoons. Anyway if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time.